Hey there, my name is Hugh, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to import custom indicators into Forex Tester 5. First, I'll give you the benefits of why you might want to do this, then I'll show you some of the limitations of this method, and then I'll get into the actual process and show you how to do it. The big benefit is that if you do manual backtesting with MetaTrader, you're going to have to keep a spreadsheet and it's very messy. But if you put it into Forex Tester 5, Forex Tester will keep track of the trades, show you your performance, and it's a much easier process. Now, although this is a great feature in Forex Tester 5, there are some limitations. So let's get into the actual process and I'll show you what those limitations are. So in order to install a custom indicator in Forex Tester 5, you're going to go to a list of indicators on the home tab and then you go to install new indicator. And as you can see here, um, the type of indicator you can install is a DLL file or an MQ4 file. Now the DLL file is the custom indicator format for Forex Tester and it's actually a little hard to get a programmer to create a um, Forex Tester 5 custom indicator. So what you can do then is you can use the MQ4 file and that's the MetaTrader 4 file. Now that might sound great, but you can't just install any old indicator into Forex Tester 5. You have to have the MQ4 file. So this is the indicators folder inside of MetaTrader 4. And uh, as you can see, there are two files for each indicator. And if you don't know the MQ4 file is the source code file, or that's the file that the programmers use to create the indicator. And that's the file that humans can read. Now, once you put it into this folder, uh, MetaTrader will automatically turn that into an EX4 file or the executable file. And that's the file that the computer can read. Now, when you buy a custom indicator online, like at our store, you're gonna get the EX4 file because we're not gonna give away the MQ4 file. That's the source code. That's basically the recipe of how the indicator works. So if you have a file that says EX4 at the end, that will not work in Forex Tester 5. However, if you have an indicator file that says MQ4 at the end, then that will work in Forex Tester 5. All right, so if you want to try this out, head on over to the MQL4 source code library for MetaTrader 4. Uh, you can just Google that and you'll find that here. Uh, and this will give you a whole bunch of free indicators that you can use. Most of them aren't very good, but just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to use one of them. So let's use this fx5 divergence indicator i don't know anything about this haven't used it before um, but it does have well it has 11 votes with four and a half stars so that's pretty good for the marketplace and it does come in the mq4 format here so i'm just going to click on that to download it i'm going to put that on the desktop and save that okay now i'm going to go back to forex tester I'm going to go to list of indicators install new indicator and I'm going to use this new one, this divergence. Okay. Then I'm going to install that. And as you can see here, what they're doing in the program is sending the MQ4 file to the Forex tester servers. It's going to translate it. It's going to send back a DLL, which can be used by uh, Forex tester five. All right. So that's what it's doing here. It's just sending it to the server, translating it, sending it back. Now I haven't done this a lot, but the few times that I have done it, it's kind of hit or miss. So that's one of the limitations with this method. Uh, sometimes the server isn't able to translate the indicator and send it back to you. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. I'm going to convert. Okay, so it looks like it did convert. And there you go, indicator installed. So now let's jump over to the list of indicators. We'll go to custom. And okay, yeah, so uh, this divergence indicator has been added. So let's see what that does. Okay, so it adds this down here and presumably it's going to uh, show some divergence between price and the indicator. Oh yeah, there you go. It had to uh, catch up a little bit, but let's pause that. So now you can, we can see that there's a divergence with the price. Uh, so that looks like it's working correctly. If you can't get the indicator converted this way, then you might have to get it custom programmed, um, which will cost more obviously. But give this method a try first because it's free, it's included in the software, and you have access to a ton of uh, free MetaTrader indicators out there that you can use to possibly backtest with. All right, if you don't have Forex Tester 5 yet, there's a discount link in the description below. That's my link, uh, and that will give you a discount on Forex Tester 5. Uh, there is a program that I like better than Forex Tester 5, and the link for that is also provided in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to get more videos like this. And thanks for watching.